There's just the two of us now. Just you and I. You've arranged all this very cleverly. I don't know where you got your information, but I know what you're after. I just hope you realize what a gamble you're taking. You think you can keep this up for a few days? Just so that no one will interfere when you help your sister dispose of her jewelry. Isn't that it? Here. Here, take it. It's insured. Take it and get out. Kim, dear, what's the matter with you? The police have gone now. The joke's over. Remember this? that you were ditched by that tennis player. What was his name? Murray Harris. What do you want? You're not my brother. I know you're not. My key. Looking for these? You left them in the car again, Kim. That's a pretty bad habit. Here. Go on. Take them. You're not a prisoner here. But I'm sure you know it'd be silly to run away. I'd only have to bring you back, and that might mean the hospital again. Hospital? Well, I'm only going by what I've heard. After father's death and the trouble with the company and everything else, it was quite understandable. Poor Kim. You've been through a pretty bad time. Acute anxiety, isn't that what they called it? No. I wasn't that sick. I wasn't. That's what you tried to make out, but the doctor seemed to think that you were. And they'd think so again, Kim. 